we are here in week five of the regular season with episode or week four with episode five. Um, and I think after careful consideration, subscriber count that I do have, they did vote between Malik Willis and Will Levis because Ryan Tannehill has been absolute garbage as of late. And Will Levis has won the vote. Um, and I think Will Levis has performed a little bit worse than Malik Willis so far, but Will Levis has also been put in a lot of poor positions and he has been forced to make some very questionable decisions with the football. So we're probably going to see what he can do when he starts a game. Zero to zero, completely fresh. We do have a lot of players ready to negotiate. And we do have a lot of money to spend. But I think we're going to spend it sparingly. Derrick Henry... He does not want to resign at all. That is completely fine. We are probably going to end up using Ty J Spears next season, anyways. Tierra Tart is a guy that we might resign. Sean Murphy Bunting is a guy that we definitely want back, as well as Aziz Al Shear. Um, Kristen Fulton, we don't need back. Probably going to let all of these corners walk. We'll see what we can do with center. I'm not sure about him. A lot of these guys are super mid. So they're going to be guys that we can probably sign for relatively cheap anyways if we do need depth at the end of the season. Caleb Farley we do want back, but if he doesn't develop, then we can just bring him... Or I don't even know what I was saying. Um, Caleb Farley is a guy we want back, but if he doesn't develop, we don't need to bring him back. We can accept his fifth-year option if need be. Ryan Tannehill does not want to come back. We do not want him back. We are probably going to trade him at the deadline. Just because... I think Will Levis and... Malik Willis are going to be the QB1 and QB2 of the future. Whichever way that may go, I'm not sure. But it will be those two. As our two quarterbacks on this team. We're going to defend the short pass because a lot of the threat Joe Burrow brings, in my opinion, is getting quick passes off to his receivers who can run after, after create rack opportunities very well. We're going to do split training. I think now with um, Will Levis starting, we are going to bring in Malik Willis for training so they can kind of develop side by side obviously will levis will be getting more experience because he is getting actual game time we're gonna put caleb farley in here and i don't think we're gonna force three plus turnovers we have not been creating turnovers at all um i think 350 plus passing yards is actually reasonable allow 30 points or less is fine but i think yeah, I mean, we haven't been great as a defense. 250-plus offensive yards is a little bit easy. We want to go a little bit of a higher goal this week because if we're going to win, we're going to have to reach these goals regardless. So 300-plus offensive yards, I think, is fine. And then 15-plus turnover first downs is another reasonable goal, in my opinion. And I'm probably not going to play the mini-games this week. And hopefully we get some upgrade tokens for our guys. I'm kind of not in the right headspace right now. I'm in a weird headspace. I just got news that my first episode was blocked because of copyright. Because I forgot to turn off music before I started the video. I can edit that out relatively easily. But it's going to impact how long my video is going to stay on algorithms which is going to impact how much i grow and that kind of sucks so i'm glad the guys that got here got here when they did and if you guys are sticking around 
I appreciate you so much because I'm trying to create a community. It's not about the money for me. It's not about becoming famous or whatever. I just want to create a community and chat with you guys about stuff that I enjoy, which is football, baseball, just sports in general. Keep you on check in. It's going to talk about Ryan Tannehill, I believe. Um, the team needs to step up because Ryan Tannehill is not playing anymore. We need to beat the Bengals. This is a make it or break it week. Hopefully, Will Levis can step up for us against a team that is much, much better than ours. Plan on offense is definitely going to be around the ball, especially with Malik Willis. With, or not Malik Willis, Will Levis in his first career start. I'm going to keep mixing up those names. I'm sorry about that, but it is something that is unavoidable because Malik Willis or Willis is just Will Levis without the Lev. Their names are super similar if you think about it. Um, but this is an important game, one that we need to stay close in at the very least, preferably win. So let's go out there and play some football. Maintain our momentum that we get starting at home. I think we're definitely going to have to run a lot because we are in the rain. And we don't have the best receivers, so we're probably going to slip quite a bit. Yeah, I probably should have. All right. First career start for Will Levis. Let's see what we can't do. All right, one rushing yard. Definitely going to try and take this first drive slow. If we don't score, so be it. Not getting the ball at half. Any game sucks. I think it just automatically gives you what you ask for in terms of if you request to receive or prefer to receive at the start of the game, it's going to give you that automatically against the CPU. Unfortunately. Good ball by Levis. But yeah, it's going to give you the ball right away regardless. Or let you kick off the ball right away regardless. And I forgot to change that. But something that I might do is like flip a coin before every game. Or like roll a 50-50. And, like, on heads, I'll receive, or on tails, I'll kick, or whatever. Because receiving to start every game is not super realistic. Man, I wanted to get that ball off really bad. I don't think there's going to be a lot of field goal opportunities in this game. So we have to try and get a first down here. Good catch of Quanco. Good first down, Derek. Very solid. We appreciate you. All right, we're going to run a read option here. See if Levis can use his wheels. Or just hand it off to Derrick Henry. That works too. I mean, ground and pound. Stick to what works. I mean, the Levis and Hopkins connection is so good, though. I think both of his touchdowns so far in his career are to D-Hop. I mean, a great receiver like that. I've been saying it for a long, long time. 
I think I mentioned it in the Brotherhood podcast, which is a podcast regarding a league that I'm playing in with my buddy. Um, I think it's Y and B. Um, we're playing in that league together. I am going to be the LA Rams. It's going to be a tough, tough rebuild. But it's going to be really fun, so go check it out. I'll put the link for that pod down in the description. And if you have a PS5 and Madden 24, you can join the waitlist and try and play in the league with us as well. Um, but I've said it for a long time. Young quarterbacks who have elite receivers like Diggs and Allen, D-Hop and Kyler, D-Hop and um, Watson even. Stafford and Megatron. Good receivers can help the development of a young quarterback to an incredible extent. And I think Levis and Willis having D-Hop is going to be really important. McCreary is slow as shit. What was that? All right, it's going to be a shootout. I can already tell. It's going to be the first team to make a mistake, and that will probably be us, knock on wood. Good tackle. Good shit, Fulton. Going to try and run a bit of a blitz here. Fulton is having one hell of a game. I mean, he boxed Jamar Chase out super well there. Shout out number 26, too. Golden number. Just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. Probably going to try and put in Spears for a tiny bit here. Let him get some action, because I think he does have a higher average yards per carry than Henry right now now the rookie third rider from Tulane it's Tajay Spears only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28 all right let's convert if we don't convert it's fine because we did get a drive off of the pick but scoring off of turnovers is very important so I'd love to convert here and Levis throws a complete dime on a check down to Henry for the first down. Alright, we're going to try and run another play action. Maybe we can get the ball deep downfield. If not, probably check down to the fullback slash tight end Wiley. Aquanco is super open. That was unreal. He had nobody within a fucking 50 mile radius of him. If we can get a win here, the week before, and get morale boost right before Burks comes back, that would be super good for us. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? 
like you're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator i'd like to keep carrying just get a morale boost get momentum going into the return of one of our most important pieces as levis is going to run for a quick first down here didn't see anyone open so he took off and run An outside handoff to Ty J. Spears should get us, get us a good gain. Good gain here. Sometimes I talk a little bit faster than my brain thinks, which is something I kind of need to work on. We're gonna run Wildcat. Hassan Haskins, no. What we're going to do is not this. Second and five from the eight. We're going to run a little bit of a trick play with Spears. It only gets us a yard. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty I don't like this down in distance to pass. Team, if so, so we're probably just going to try and pound it in. And we can. Nice stiff arm by Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Titans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Joseph Cox on the extra point. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game? Good breakup, good breakup. We just need to execute better and try to get back in this game. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Burrow once again here on second and ten. And Imagine fucking tripping, Jamar. You're supposed to be a top receiver. Top receivers do not trip like that. Yep, that's the thing I was worried about. Jamar Chase rack ability. That's tough. We still do have the lead and a very favorable position here. So, I mean, just got to stick to our game plan. Keep running it. I mean, if we can keep oh, at, least, at least a one possession game going into, or one possession lead going into the second half, that would be very big for us. Solid rush by Derrick Henry there on first down. Braxton Berrios just got, just got super open on that play. Will Levis, 6 for 6, 122 yards and a touchdown. He just needed a change of pace, not playing from down. Because he has not been put in the best situations to succeed when we sub him in. But he is looking really good as a starter. Spears has not looked great this game. Henry has been cooking, so we'll probably 
stick to him. Gonna hand it off to Tajay Spears here. I think if we don't get a first down, it's not a huge deal. But I don't want to pass it and do something stupid. So we're gonna run for an easy two yard first down. Maybe we can try and get a little bit further downfield before the quarter breaks, or the two minute warning breaks. Wasn't the best accuracy, but he got it in there. So, I mean, you can't really complain. Get out of there, Levis. Man. That's too bad. Just not enough speed. Malik could have gotten out of there, but... That's a little bit of a fallacy. Levis did what he could, and he is probably one of the primary reasons we're winning this game right now. As well as our offensive line. Our offensive line has been doing great. We already ran this play like two plays ago. I think play action is somewhat reasonable here. They go play action. Here's Levis. D Hop is super open. I think here we want to run another option. Oh, that's so tough. He almost got in there. Can probably get it in there with Tajay Spears, though. Yikes. That was a good read by the defense. Shit! I wasn't paying attention to the clock. That's tough. Had a solid drive, though. Chewed the clock. Didn't want them to do anything. I think running inside is still a good game plan. And we're going to probably try and defend the deep pass. I don't know if they've ran it once. Good hit stick. Got to line that up perfectly to get it to work now, but... I mean, that's what we did. I mean, T. Higgins is unbelievably open right now. I mean, they can't catch shit, and I'm not complaining. The rain is fucking them up. And we are thriving. Jeffrey Simmons is hurt. That sucks. If they ran it once, I am 
fucking baffled right now. They have to run at some point, right? They have to. There's no shot that... There they go. See what happens when you run? Might just work out. What a hit. Alsha here is electric. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that drag, to be honest. I probably should have. I mean, if you're not going to run, play action is not going to work out as well. It did there. I don't know how. But, I mean, <laughs> play action is just not fooling anyone. Yeah, that was not the best return. Let's continue to pound it, Derek. Get us down the field. And into at least field goal range. Yikes. Alright, I don't mind the play level sale right here. Um, yeah, I think it's our best bet. Berrios is open again. That was a bad ball. We got a huge bail there. Went straight to the defender. You gotta hold on to that, Chig. You can't let yourself crumble off of that play, though, well. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They've got momentum on their side. They were once down 14 nothing. Now it's even at 14 as they All right. to together a drive to get Important defensive drive here. Oh, we don't have momentum anymore. That's bad. Bad news bears. Lions and Tigers and Bears, oh my. I mean, Pro Bowl is technically a popularity contest, though. And he made a big name for himself in his rookie year. Recency bias? Question mark? Who knows? Sick drop, T. Pass he should have caught. Please change your voice lines. EA. Can't fool us. You really thought, huh? No, it's not going to work. Dog. <laughs> Are they just going to 
take a delay of game? What's going on here? What were they doing? CPU? What? I mean, I'll take it. But what just happened? After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now Burrow. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. I mean, oh my God. He's got it for a Got to cover that better. We had a perfect opportunity. Now we're playing from behind. If Chig catches that ball, I mean, hindsight, but jeez, man. Probably going to run a lot this drive. Stick to what works. Have we scored since the first quarter? I'm not sure. I don't really remember all too well. That's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the Their run defense is super good right now. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to We need a conversion here, Will. He's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Let's scheme you something. Probably a fade, or not a fade, a drag would work. Flats. He only gets a yard. Alright. We're gonna try a fake punt. See if it works. Probably won't. Arm punt, arm punt, arm punt, arm punt. Hot. Please swat that. Bengals coach is fumes right now. There's no shot he catches that ball, dude. What? No way. I refuse to believe it. You're trolling. I mean, we need another pick. Burrow's got his X-Factor activated. It's it's Jover. And now they're going to start running. I hate this so much. Dog. We're going to run the clock out. Yeah. All right, we got eight minutes to climb back from a two-score deficit. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not a catch and bounds. No, don't challenge that. He's not in. You're stupid. What? All right. If he has a foot out and they call that and they didn't ca count my fucking. Yeah, dog. Okay. Um, there's his foot.
I want to get vertical, like with the, the field. Okay, yeah, that's a touchdown. Fuck, dude. I mean, it gives us more time, but we got to play aggressive now. And Will Levis does not play well playing aggressive, especially not in the rain. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And a lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. I mean, we have seven minutes. If they can bounce back from that last Don't have to play game. super aggressive this drive. The quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Did we throw a pick? Oh, that was our punter. Doesn't count. It's our punter. He punted. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit. Okay. Let's not throw on the run anymore. Knock to self. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And this offense on third down today. I think he's 0 for 3 since his first. Very good. This is third and seven. Nine completions. 0 for 4 now. I mean, we have to go for it here. Our choice has been taken from us. What? No. This is a challenge we have to try and get. I mean, we're, we lose the game if we don't get it, if we don't try. Please. Get the chains out. Can't look. Yeah, that's so gay. The refs don't help us at all, but they fucking bail the Bengals out. There, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. Here we go, here we go. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And tough sledding. What a fucking bail. I mean, <laughs> it's unreal, dude. Help me out. Dog. Would be extra defenders in the box coming after him trying to keep them from locking down a game right now they want to show the world they're up to the challenge they try to throw on second down but this one is incomplete it's rare that a receiver of his caliber all right drop one pass but that's now two times he's had his miss fuck we can't go all out it would be stupid of us to confidence in him though because of the track record such a good player maybe having a bad game but i think they'll still go to him in a critical spot all right let's hope they miss it's rainy, windy. Got to hope for a miss from Caleb Farley. Or not Caleb Farley. Evan McPherson. And he does. It's off the... We're still in this. They're still within two scores. So All right, let's go play some football. For him here as they come up first and ten. Try and win this game. Throwing there, but this pass is going to Man, it's tough. Give it big credit. Levis is starting to miss balls. He's panicking. We know he can't play from behind. In position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. A second down throw from Levis. Tight window. Good stuff. 
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Flushed out right. Get out of bounds. Inside the 15-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. All right. And now a run with Spears. And he is met in his... I mean, Spears has not been able to do anything today. He'll lose a yard there and it's second. Unfortunately. Offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far. And it's cost him. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. All right. I mean, got to try and get a short pass. I really actually like Barrios on a streak here. That's my bad. Pre-red. Didn't expect the defensive tackle to get up there. It caused an unfortunate deflection. This is a very risky play, but I have faith in Derrick Henry. I should not have placed my faith in Derrick Henry, or rather my O-line. I just don't have the most faith in Will Levis to convert there. After all, he's been performing in the second half. Oh, dear God. What the fuck, dude? This is stupid. I mean, drop it. Keep dropping it. Butterfingers. Let's do it. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm confused, was just off? Just got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Please keep throwing it out. We need the clock to stop. How does he catch that, dude? But T. Higgins drops the most fucking wide open passes. Let me sack Joe. God damn it, dude. Open man is Chase complete. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional. Why, why did we not wrap him up? I mean, that's so fucking stupid. Unfortunate. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Another yard, and I'm going to send to the end. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. We need, like, some magical kind of turnover here. Yeah, that's game. And to be honest, it's really no fault of Will Levis's. He did everything he could. He had a 62.5 completion rate just because of poor play by the defense, making him feel like he had to force shit. But if we look at his stats, and if you remember the first half, he was... Incredible. No interceptions. Maybe one was dropped. It one was. He threw an interceptable ball, but I mean everybody does. Patrick Mahomes does sometimes. He threw a touchdown, 192 yards. But it was rainy. We were trying to be modest. And then rushing. He had six rushes for 41 yards, which isn't bad at all. 
I mean, he had a really solid game. I think he has earned a full-time starting spot until he loses that full-time starting spot. And hopefully he doesn't, because I want to see him succeed. Chick got an upgrade token. Kind of hot. Probably going to continue making him a vertical threat. Gets another speed point. He's up to 89 speed, which is great for linebackers, or tight ends, sorry. We're probably going to make Harold Landry a speed rusher. Just keep him good at what he's good at. And Kevin Byard, he's getting old. He is 30. But he's really solid. We're going to get up, up to 90 hybrid. And what are his abilities? We can get him another ability slot. Um, why not get him Lurker? Be mutt Let's do it. I mean, we're still in the division race, wildly enough. Um, rain game. We did everything we could. Unfortunately, we lost. In that one. And we aren't going to get anything from it. I don't think we're going to lose anything from it either. Minus three run block power okay we're definitely gonna have to pass a lot next game against the colts and then qb1 check-in we're not talking about Tannehill because he did not start get out of here you are not you are not the qb1 you're not going to take it out on the opponent in the next game because you are the third string quarterback buddy you blew your job next week we play the indianapolis colts Will left his second career start. Hopefully, his teammates can support him a little bit better in this one. We're only two games back from the division still. And I mean, I think we still have life. This division is kind of ass. And I mean, with if Will Levis can keep up how he's been performing last week against teams that aren't the Cincinnati Bengals and as elite as them, I think we can actually see him succeed in this league. Um, but we can wait to find out until week five against the Indianapolis Colts. Peace.